Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Rad Kutarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. All right, so this is going to be a Taurus, oops, Taurus Sun, Taurus Moon and Taurus Rising, a weekly tarot reading, uh, September 23rd to September 29th, 2019. And just one second, guys, to fix up this mess that I did with my cards to shuffle them and uh, then we can jump right into it. All right, into the reading, that is. Alright, that's good enough, I guess. And uh, the first card, which marks the topic and the theme of your week here, Taurus, is going to be the Justice card, followed by the second one, which stands for the challenges that you need to overcome throughout the week. That is going to be the Devil. Then the third one here, it is the positive aspect of the week for you, and that is the Four of Pentacles. And then the last card, it is the guidance that Taro is offering to you. That will be the Three of Pentacles. All right, so before we scrutinize the reading and see how this, how all this plays out for you guys, uh, let's run the cards one more time. The first one, which is the topic of the week, that will be just justice, followed by the next one, which stands as a, a challenges that you need to overcome. We do have the devil. Afterwards, it is the positive aspect of the week, that is the four of pentacles. And then the last one here for you, Taurus, it is the three of pentacles, which uh, Taro, it, it is the guidance that Taro is offering to you. So uh, the first one, which is the topic, that will be the justice and it is catalyzed or accompanied with, wow, with the temperance. So that will be very, very busy week, guys. It all comes to that, how well you manage your time and how well you are gonna manage your responsibilities. A lot of chores are gonna be in front of you, chores into your career, chores into your relationship as well. And uh, depending on how well you attend to them and how well you are performing in them will uh, will define you know how successful you are going to be in regards to a marriage happiness you know in regards to lucrivity into your career as well but the key here is really managing your priorities I cannot stress you enough now you should not attend to those that can wait but you need to attend to those which are which requires your immediate attention all right additionally to that this week it does look like that you are going to face a uh, situations where you will need to approach them with acute discernment all right and as well uh, with a, a sense of accountability toward oneself and toward the situation as well uh, it looks like that other people as well are going to be involved involved in them and it doesn't look like that at the start you are going to find a bunch of a, a common ground in between one another I mean probably there will be a differences into the ideas you know or a differences into the vision and etc etc but definitely should you have the patience and once again the accountability toward the situation to proceed with the negotiations or with the conversations for example with your husband with your boss let's say or with your supervisor then definitely a, a common ground can be achieved where both part 
parties are going to be happy with the results of the negotiated. So if you have been denied of a promotion or of a raise, for example, do not get mad. All right. Try to approach the situation in a slightly different fashion, in a slightly different manner. And a promotion is going to be granted to you. That is just for a, an example, guys. But the next card here, which stands for the challenges that uh, Taro is um, showing that you will have to overcome we do have the devil card and it is accompanied by the queen of by the queen of cups so passive friends and your emotional state is going to be uh is going to be a challenge for you it doesn't look like it's not like you will not be able to control your emotions that will be exactly the problem that your emotions are gonna eat you from within you will want to simply you know lay it all out and in the same time you will fully understand the full consequences, the repercussions of that, okay? Uh, and I'm not just only talking about emotions of ple uh, pleasant emotions, excuse me, but I'm also talking about a bad emotions like anger, all right? Like hatred, like, um, I don't know, uh, repulsiveness and etc. etc. And uh, how do I say it here? Now, those emotions will also give you a, a very huge impulse. And now instead of unleashing, let's say, your anger uh, upon, for example, people that does not deserve it or situations that simply you can't do anything about, instead of unleashing it, try to challenge, uh, to channel it, excuse me. Because channeling, you know, those negative emotions will allow you to uh, have a, a great impulse, an impulse that will uh, help you deal with things, okay? Deal with situations as well. And ultimately, um, getting one step closer towards your goal and uh, toward the thing that you're so, so much yearns because that is the challenge here. I mean, you, you know, or kind of like you see that uh, what you want, it's available, it's achievable, it's right there. And in the same time, those small obstacles, those small restrictions are preventing you from seizing it. And that is going to drive you mad. And it is where you can snap, you can just lose it, okay? So it's very important here, instead of trying to, um, how do I say it, suppress your emotions, because you're not going to have a good time with that, all right? It's just they're going to eat you from within. Try to tame them, all right? Try to allow, try to make them work in your favor instead of against you, okay? Uh, and then the next one is going to be about the positive aspect, and that is the Four of Pentacles accompanied with the Knight of Wands. So we do have a passive neutrals. And with these two cards, you are going to ma maintain a, a very, very good focus. You, focus. you are basically going to concentrate upon the things which are substantial, upon the things which do matter about, you know, the, uh, the uh, longevity of your marriage, let's say, or longevity of your relationship or the success in your career, longevity of your career, and etc., etc. My point here is that instead of you bouncing around a distractions and short-term goals, you know, short-term enterprises, you are to attend how? Accountably towards your life, towards your situation into career, and towards the situation into your relationship. And instead of wasting your time, you will ensure a, a secure future for yourself, for your career, and for your relationship as well our relationship life uh, toward this, uh, toward this, uh, throughout, excuse me, this week. And also these two cards are showing that you will be able to deflect any kind of hostile uh, attempt of influence upon your things, your private life, your your personal boundaries. So no one will be able to cross those boundaries, all right? Uh, uh, if you do have enemies, let's say, or if, if there is a third party that is messing around with your career or with your relationship, it doesn't look like that this is going to be their week, all right? It's, uh, you do have the full potential here to completely exclude them from the equation by a, ensuring a, a secure future for yourself, but you need to become a little bit more defensive, all right? And that defensiveness uh, starts from not wasting your time with pointless endeavors. And the last card, it's the um, guidance the Taro is offering. We do have the Tree of Pentacles. Well, look at that with the Ace of Cups. So your growth, uh, your proceed, uh, proceeding forward, your um, 
advance in uh, career or relationship endeavors here goes through first cooperations and as well a, a, a fruitful discussions, let's say, of people that are capable to support you. It's exactly throughout a support from those around you, for those who believe in you, for those who want to see you grow, it is where the right circumstances will appear or they are going to form, which are to make a problems or those obstacles I talked about at the start of the reading here that are preventing you from gr from grasping, you know, your goal to completely disappear, to simply lose relevance, to no longer be able to influence your situation. And there you can enjoy the love in your life, you can enjoy the success into your career. In generally, the, whatever you are feeling like you are lacking, whatever you do have, that uh, whatever spot in your heart is empty is going to be filled up again, you know, and nothing is going to look the same when looked throughout through this overflowing joy that is uh, overflowing your, your heart. And that, that vision of the new world is going to basically transcend your daily reality, okay? But no one does it by itself, right? So maybe this will require as well to put your pride on the shelf. I don't know. Maybe it's going to require that you need to reach a certain, um, not decision, but let's say a compromise with uh, with someone that it is around you, someone that uh, will allow you to uh, kind of like to achieve a situation of mutual benefits and together to grow. But definitely, uh, it's not going to be thanks to your own personal efforts here. You need to uh, find someone or a, a cluster of people that are to support you throughout your development. It's going to be just easier that way. And so that being said, Taurus, uh, this was your weekly tarot reading September 23rd to September 29th, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys, and we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.